Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at rationalizing the denominator. In particular, I want to look at the problem express 7 divided by 5 plus the square root of 6 with a rational denominator in simplest radical form. Now before we get started, let's take a look at what we're going to need to solve this problem. We need to know what a conjugate is and the conjugate of this binomial a plus b is equal to a minus b. So all we do is negate the second term. Now we also have that when a is not equal to zero, we have a divided by a equals one. We're going to couple these two ideas to generate an equivalent fraction of this particular fraction. But when we generate this equivalent fraction, it's going to have a rational denominator. So now, last, what we need to know how to do is multiply binomials together. This is really just a distributive law, or as most teachers will show it, foiling. First, outer, inner, last. So let's go ahead and get started with this problem. We have that 7 divided by 5 plus the square root of 6. We need to generate a rational denominator. So we're going to multiply 5 plus the square root of 6 by its conjugate 5 minus the square root of 6. But remember, we need to preserve the value of this fraction. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 5 minus the square root of 6. Notice how it's in this form here. We have 5 minus the square root of 6 divided by 5 minus the square root of 6. This is equal to 1, so we're multiplying this fraction by 1. We're not changing its value, only its representation. So now we need to simplify. Let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials. We could think about it in terms of foiling, if that makes it easier. We have 5 times 5 is 25. We have 5 times a minus radical 6 is equal to a minus 5 radical 6. We have 5 times a positive radical 6 is equal to a positive 5 radical 6. And finally, we have a positive radical 6 times a minus radical 6. This is going to give us a minus 6. Now let's go ahead and look at why these two terms multiply to a minus 6. We have the square root of 6 times the square root of 6. This gives us the square root of 36, which in turn is just equal to 6. So when we have the product of a positive times a negative, this is going to give us the minus sign in front of the 6. So let's go ahead now and look at the numerator. We have to use the distributive law. We have 7 times a positive 5, so we have 35. And now we have 7 times a minus radical 6, so we have minus 7 radical 6. Now we need to look for what terms are going to simplify and cancel out. Well, in the denominator here, we have a minus 5 radical 6 and a plus 5 radical 6. So those two terms are going to cancel which will allow us to write the next line. We have 35 minus 7 radical 6 divided by, and now all we have left is 25 minus 6, which now brings us to our last step. We have as our final answer 35 minus 7 radical 6 divided by 25 minus 6, which is 19. Now let's go ahead and look at an alternate form of this answer because if this were a multiple choice test they could put this in a different form. Let's look at the alternate form of 35 over 19 minus 7 radical 6 over 19. This would also be an acceptable answer. Now some students will struggle with the concept of why this fraction can break apart into two fractions like this but Really all this is, if you think back to even as far back as third grade when you first learned how to add fractions, when you're doing something like this, 1 over 7 plus 2 over 7, you're so used to doing this problem, you do it lightning quick in your head now, that you just quickly jump to 3 over 7. But the in-between step that you're ignoring, because you've done it so many times, is this 1 plus 2 divided by 7. So we're used to thinking from left to right really fast, but sometimes we need to slow down and think from the middle term going back to the left. And this is really what's being mirrored right here when we have this 35 minus 7 radical 6 in the numerator and it splits apart into two fractions 35 over 19 minus 7 radical 6 over 19. Okay, well that's going to conclude this problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.